years old, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, grown man, business. And listen, you could tap in and you could tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest, and I suggest you tap in, so let's get right into it. And Kwame Brown, you are the topic of discussion, my G. Kwame Brown. You are the topic of discussion, so let's get right into it. Now, I've been getting a big response in my DMs about the whole Kwame Brown versus Charleston White video. You know what I'm saying? Um, appreciate everybody tapping in. Appreciate all the comments, the likes. You feel me? Salute to all the subs, everybody that's locked in and tapped in, all my new investors, right? So I figured I'd go in. You know, I won't make this a long one, but I wanted to tap back in to Kwame Brown because it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deeper than rap when you scratching the surface. You understand? So this one right here is just Kwame. Kwame Brown. Now, me personally, you know, I'm an old head, so I grew up in the time where Kwame Brown was in the NBA when he played for Kobe, when he played with Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? When he played with AI. You know, I, I watched Gilbert Arenas come into the league. I remember the hype behind Gilbert Arenas. Uh, you know what I'm saying? With him being nice and, 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 you know, being one of the top picks and all that or whatever, getting a big contract. I remember all that stuff. And back in those days, like I always say, you know, we didn't have a lot of the information that we have now. We didn't understand the high erupts and the elites the way we understand them now. You understand what I'm saying? We we didn't we we didn't we, it was too big for us to wrap our heads around. So we see a lot of stuff in the media. We see a lot of stuff in the cartoons and the movies. You know, a lot of stuff dealing with athletes and just think that it was, you know, primetime television. We you know, I never thought that it would be an angle. I mean, multiple, multiple, multiple different angles when it came to the high erupts and the elites in this industry and the narrative that's painted for us as the masses, you understand, as a whole, you know? So you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles. And that leads me and segues me into my first angle. Yeah, my first angle. And that's Kwame Brown and the high erupts and elites. That's Kwame Brown and the high erupts and the elites. So let me break this down for you because I had a lot of people in the DMs wanting me to go in depth, wanting me to break it down a little bit more. Yeah, so that's what I'm here to do. Now, before we knew Kwame personally with the, with the uh, you know, YouTube and the social media, he was in the NBA. And we all knew that he was a number one draft pick fresh out of high school. You know, they had a lot of uh, high expectations for Kwame Brown. You got to know the league, the, 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 you know, the team owners, the high erupts and the elites. They had a lot of high expectations for Kwame Brown because most of the time when they reach in and they grab an athlete out of high school, he is A1. He is A1. He is, he is the next LeBron James. He is the next Jordan. You understand Kobe? Kevin Garnett, I can go down the list, and they take it to the highest level. You understand when it comes to, 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 to uh, generating money, when it comes to influence, etc. But Kwame Brown, I'm not going to call him a bus. I'm not going to call him a bus, but I'm going to call him uh, a disappointment. To the high erupts and the elites, Kwame Brown was a disappointment. And remind you, he came in the league at 18 years old. So once he started to become a disappointment, once, you know, the high hope started to settle down and everybody started to figure, hey, maybe his hands is too small. Hey, he, he's not as good or he's not, you know, excelling in the NBA the way we thought he would excel. That's when the ritual started to take place. Let's break this down. You feel what I'm saying? Coming from multiple different angles. And I'm not going to stay on this long, but I just wanted to give you all a more in-depth look at your guy Kwame so he became a disappointment but mind you he's still getting a bag they didn't already guaranteed him a certain amount of money they didn't already put a certain amount of you know media behind him they trying to blow him up he's still getting a bag he's not performing the way they want him to perform yeah he's not he's not, his hands ain't, ain't keep growing his hands stopped growing as soon as he signed the contract they thought he was going to be like you know Shaq or something 
Garnett, Kobe, and the disappointment. So now here comes the rituals. Because, you know, it's easy for them to give you those checks, let you gain that kind of money, and you're a superstar. And they can kind of, it's easier for them to guide you because you're so, uh, so much in the public eye as a superstar that any false move can, you know, damage your career. So they give you the guidance. They guide you into the rituals. They guide you, guide you into the humiliation rituals. They all went through it. Kobe, everybody. Yeah. We can break those down, but that's a whole nother video. But Kwame, on the other hand, like I'm trying to tell you, was a disappointment. He wasn't what they expected him to be. He didn't rise to the occasion. But we still got to give you this money, and you still playing in this industry. So you're going to learn the tricks of the trade. You're going to learn... How, the ropes of this here industry rubbing shoulders with the higher ups in the elites so here come the rituals right the the the, the, the humiliation rituals they always embarrassed kwame they always humiliated kwame over and over and over again knowing in their head that this right here these rituals will keep him docile for the rest of his life these rituals will take the man out of him. Yeah, it'll take the 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 umph, the gumption. The the the, the gumption to want to do more, to want to take something, to want to buck. We don't already, you know, these rituals will buck break him. Buck break him. And believe it or not, if he believes it or not, he has been buck broken. That's how you have a 7 foot plus black man. I mean black. He's blacker than He's not the average black. He's blacker than black, right? Can be so, so docile, so forgiving, so overlooking when it comes to real situations that men are going to react to. Real strong men are going to react to that. And it's no disrespect towards Kwame. But, you know, before Kwame became we are the people, before Kwame became we the people, Kwame was in bed with the higher ups and elites. Before Kwame would rub shoulders with the peasants and have arguments with regular YouTubers every day about something, he was with the higher ups and elites. He was rubbing shoulders with Jordan, the likes of Kobe. Yeah, AI. The, 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 the NBA owners, the team owners, the ones cutting the checks. You understand? Now, mind you, that's why Kwame is so quiet. Because from 18 on, from the year, from 18 years old, the high erupts and elites been pounding on him. They've been pounding on him. They they conditioned him on how to take punishment. Let me say that again. They conditioned him on how to take punishment. Because listen, you're gonna take this punishment, Kwame Brown, or we we'll, we'll sever the contract with you. Oh, didn't you come in this league to help your family? Didn't you want to buy your mama a house? Didn't you want to be a millionaire? Did, ain't this what you did all those camps for? All those practices for? Well, now that you're here, you can get it. But we gonna, we gonna, I mean, we gonna tear you apart. We gonna, we, <laughs> bruh, we gonna make you as docile as possible. We gonna talk bad on you every chance we get. We gonna make up names for you. You're gonna be the you're gonna be the epitome of what a bust is. Yeah. And what you know, it gets deep, it gets wicked, and it's always deeper than rap when you scratch the surface. So what Kwame did was Kwame got in bed with the higher ups and elites. He went through one of those doors. I don't know what door it was, but he went through one of the doors. If it was sacrifice, if it was, you know, the ABC D E F G gang. The, the alphabet gang, whatever door he went through, he chose a door. You understand? And he he kept his mouth closed for years upon years upon years. He don't, you got to understand, there are multiple, multiple, multiple different stories and situations that I I'm guarantee you Kwame has not spoken about. Things that happened behind those closed doors, things that he saw. That he knew he should have said something that helped. And he didn't because he didn't want to compromise that hundred million dollars. That house for his mama on the golf course. See, to, to gain these things, to obtain these things, you got to give something up, boss. You got to give something up. Now, you already know how we do here at Grown Man Business TV. We coming from multiple, 
multiple, multiple different angles. We coming from multiple, multiple, multiple different angles, my G. And that leads me and segues me into my second angle. My second angle. And that's Kwame after the basketball league. That's Kwame after the NBA. That's Kwame after rubbing shoulders with the higher ups and elites for years upon years. Doing everything possible and everything that he was instructed to do to get that 100 M's, even if that's being quiet. You see that? Don't say, be quiet. You'll still get that check. So Kwame, you know, he, he gets out of the league. He, 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 you know, he made hundreds. He made millions, bro. He made big millions. So he got a big house here paid for. His, his mama got a house and, you know, he done took care of his baby mamas. And, you know, he has uh, regular regular people problems now he's bickering back and forth with his baby mama he's doing the child support thing you know these things come with the territory these things come with the territory but somewhere down the line he thinks to himself i got to expose the high erupts in the elites that's when i got put on to kwame that's when i started catching wind Sure, he been on social media he probably been on youtube but once he thought to himself he wanted to start exposing that's when I that's when my ears got open. I started listening to Kwame. You feel me? And like I said before, in the beginning, uh maybe a year ago, he started exposing the high erupts and the elites when it comes to this athletic industry. Basketball, the NBA, you know, NFL, the commentators that that represent these organizations, the go along and get along gang. That is the high erupts and the elites. The go along, get along gang forgetting that he was a part of the go along get along gang for a long time to get those checks Kwame you were a part of the go along get along gang you went along and you got along you saw things that wasn't right everybody saw how they was treating you they saw how it wasn't right and they went along and they got along for those checks but now he's exposing the go along get along gang he's gaining a lot of traction and, you know, his page and channel goes out the roof. He already had some subscribers. He already was deep in the game. But, I mean, once he got the go along, get along gang thing going and the mama's cooking thing going, oh, the subs went out the roof. And the high erupts and the elites, they take notice when you do that. Or they started to take notice at Kwame. Oh, Kwame, oh, shit, he talk. This the same dude we gave all that money to? We had quiet for all those years? He talking now. Okay, well, let's 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 send some people at him. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. You got, you know, celebrity after celebrity. You got YouTube blogger after YouTube blogger. Everybody approaching Kwame. And they're not approaching Kwame like he is celebrity because when people approach celebrities, they approach with caution for the most part because you can't even really get close to one. He done dropped himself down a few levels. He done stepped off his throne and came down. And what you will realize is the higher ups and elites, they working on every level. Yeah, they working on every level, my boy. You understand? So he went, so again, let's he went from exposing the higher ups to the elites and exposing them and giving them names and putting them on blast. I'm talking about he had over 20 when he was doing the exposing of the higher ups and the elites, he would have lives that had 20,000 watches in it. I, I used to see these lives with 19, 21, 22,000 people watching at one time. Oh, he scared the higher ups and the elites. He had them spooked. But the problem with Kwame is he was in bed with them for a long time. They're not necessarily scared of him. They know how to handle him. Start sending people to his into his town. Start sending threats in his mail. You got random cars that he don't know who it is pulling up in his driveway. Now he's spooked. Now his now his message goes from exposing the higher ups and the elites to you know bickering back and forth with random people every day. We gonna argue every day because that guy. I want to keep the attention on arguing. I don't want to go back to exposing the league owners, the, the the team owners, how they treat young black athletes, how they haze them, yeah, how they get them in the go along get along game for these checks. Everything you did, Kwame, you was exposing. And that's what got you, that's what catapulted you. But but somewhere down the line, you got spooked and you backed out and you lost your message, my G. 
This is what it is. It's, it, respectfully. You understand? Resp I've, been, I've been thinking this for a long time because, again, Kwame kept his mouth closed for a long time while he was receiving those checks. Kwame was a part of the go along, get along gang. Now you telling on him. Yeah, man, it gets deep. It gets wicked and it's always deeper than rap when you scratch the surface. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, grown man business. And listen, you can tap in or you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. I suggest you tap into this grown man business. I suggest you tap into this grown man content at all times. You already know what it is. Straight off the brick into the bottles. Straight off the brick into the bottles. Straight raw, pure, uncut, no extras, no preservatives. We not sugar cold nothing. And we not dressing nothing up. Kwame Brown giving it to you straight raw, my G. Straight raw. And I just went piece for piece, play for play, bar for bar, chess move for chess move on the, the journey of Kwame Brown. I just wanted to get more in depth just on him and not Charleston White. I just wanted to give... Kwame Brown, his roses. You understand? I wanted to expose what it really is because Kwame was playing for that team for a long time. That's why when we would see him in the NBA, we would see him, he wouldn't say nothing. It wasn't because he was gangster. It wasn't because, you know, he just had it all together. It's because he could not say anything or he would be, he would have been oust. They already was disappointed in him. They would have found a way to get rid of him. And he knew that. He didn't come to us then and say, hey, this is what's going on. Let me expose these people. He kept his mouth closed like the majority of the celebrities do. They compromise themselves when they do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it gets deep. It gets wicked. And like I said, it's always deeper than rap when you scratch the surface. It is what it is, Kwame. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, grown man business. And listen, you can tap in and you can tap out. But you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. Gang!